Well played, Sony. Well played. Something that I was holding a line for, just buckle and broke. New information came out, and I guess the dudes got to do what the dudes got to do. And we had one hell of a show. Xbox. They got 40 day and date games going to Game Pass this year in 2024, which is wild crazy. But uh, the Xbox partner preview, we're going to talk about that. Let's get into these topics. Peace and blessings and welcome back to Xbox Frontline News with your boy, The King. And I've been a little under the weather. You wouldn't know it, but I am. That's why I was in the show yesterday. Uh, but you could catch me yesterday on Pixelated Echoes with 3-Bit and Fuzzy Belvedere. And also, Mav was a guest as, as long as, you know, he was there with me as well. So, along with me. Uh, we had a good time. So, you know, go check out uh, Pixelated Echo Echoes to check out and see what we did excuse me, on that show. It was fun. We had a great time. I like the format over there. So shout out to 3-Bit and Fuzzy Bell over there for hosting a great show. Um, You guys know how I was like, yo, reluctant. Well, I mean, I started playing Remake on my PlayStation 5 hashtag fraud. Uh, and, uh, you know, Rebirth came out and I'm just like, ah. But the thing on the box was like on the 29th, yo, it might, um, it's going to other places. You know, and dudes is like, can you cap him, bro? It's only going to PCB. And, you know, I'm like, man, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Not like I didn't go out and buy a remake already on my PlayStation 5, so it is what it is. But uh, the other day I went to go pick up Rebirth um, for my PlayStation 5. And I went to go, because, you know, I don't like to buy bit digital for the PlayStation 5. And I and I went to go to my local GameStop and yo they were closed. Like I was there that Sunday. I'm telling you this Tuesday the signage was gone. It was closed up. It was nuts. Like nothing there. Like a thief in the night like whew. And, and, you know, I've been telling you guys for a while, I, I went to my local Best Buy. My local Best Buy has cut down to absolutely almost nothing in the physical area for video games. And same thing with my local Target. We are fa vastly and fastly approaching complete digital. You know, with the Series X launching uh, sometime this summer, the all digital one, all digital, um, and that's stuff that that's a realization that we have to, you know, get under our belt. Because I was going through my physical stash the other day, cleaning it up, and I was just looking at, you know, how many physical games I do have. I probably have like over a thousand some odd physical games. You know, and then I have a whole bunch of consoles and stuff like that. Um, I recently just, you know, got rid of all my retro consoles and got minis that, you know, work with HDMI and everything like that instead of doing a whole bunch of stuff just to get, uh, just to say I have a retro console that's fitted for the, you know, the now. But it's a waste of time. I just pick up the minis. Um, shout out to John Wolf. Uh, when I get it, I'll talk to everybody about it. But uh, back to the PlayStation and Final Fantasy uh, Trilogy. That's exclusive to the Sony platform. The reason why I got to say the Sony platform, because the PlayStation 4 got remake. You know, they didn't get rebirth. And I, and I felt that's, that's kind of kind of messed up, you know, for some dudes to either upgrade or not. And that's on them, you know. But, uh, yeah, so shout out to Kong 
We're trying to stay alive, but we're going to keep the boot on Kong neck this whole generation. Hashtag no PlayStation 6. I'm going to stay on that mantra until y'all become an app. This is exactly what I'm trying to do, and this is what I got to do. But y'all got us this time. Y'all did a nice little dumpy move, moved over to the side, and fainted us. Good crossover, Sony. I appreciate the tactics. That was hard work on your part. To, to secure that, lock that up, catch them when they was weak, make them fall for the dumpy bag. I see that. But yeah. Good on you, Sony. Good on you. Like, follow, and subscribe. <laughs> Yada, 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 hit the notification bell. All right, so Xbox had their partner preview show today, and um, I was supposed to be on Iron Lord's podcast, you know, um, running completely late, was out of sorts anyway. So shout out to Lord Attic and Lord Cognito for holding it down, getting the job done. What um, I saw from the show, I saw a lot of games that were there. I saw um, a couple of games that I was interested in, a lot of games I really wasn't interested in too much. You know, you had a lot of single A and a lot of double A games um, that were there. And I, I, I kind of knew Stalker, Stalker would be there. I didn't know it would be Stalker 1, the trilogy. And they dropped that today. And that was a smart move because, you know, get people that's not familiar with the Stalker franchise in before Stalker 2 comes out that's dropping inside Game Pass later on this year. And, excuse me, um make sure that they're able to understand the world right so i think it's like uh 29.99 or 39.99 something like that you know three games the expansion packs and all that other stuff that's in there there was a couple of games that the bandai namco game uh really stood out to me it looks like a souls type of game i um i'm not a souls type of player <laughs> i'll leave that to lord attic but it did look very intriguing. They did have a couple of games that was there that kind of piqued my curiosity. But if it's not in Game Pass, it's really not going to be me, you know, per se. Um, and, you know, I can I really honestly, you know, have don't have the bandwidth to actually play all these games <laughs> that they dropped they showed a whole bunch of new games with trailers now the capcom game that's day and date inside game pass that's a game that i'm going to definitely check out and uh get into i don't know if that's like a souls type of game because i saw a lot of combat in it that dictated that that's exactly where it was going it was going to like a souls type of um genre and i i'm, I'm just like uh fiending for that next capcom omni musha to be honest with you right uh so hopefully this kind of fills that void or fixes that fix you know for that but capcom really does feudal type japan type of stuff and they really do good work so that, those it, those are really you know the two main games that you know stood out to me that i'm looking forward to and then anything else that drops inside game pass but um being that I wasn't there, I can give an uh, estimation of the show. I will give the format of the show. I got to say, this is the format that they need to stick with. And I love the fact that this format is what they're pushing forward. If you want to see more about it, you can go to uh, Xbox Wired and, you know, you click on the, the barcode and send you straight there. That's that's good. I like that. Um, nobody's talking. No personalities up there. Just giving you straight games. I and mean, the games that they did give us, they gave us a lot of games, a lot of trailers, a lot of first times being shown there. Um, I don't know what's console exclusive. Not really like it matters too much to me, uh, to be honest with you, because as long as it's on a Game Pass, you know, I don't I don't I don't really hear anything outside of that ecosystem unless it's something that, you know, ver reverberates to a point where I have to go pick that up. But other than that, nah, I just really stayed in my ecosystem. So, um, the format is fantastic. They need to stick with this format going forward. Now, for the biggest showcases, yeah, you have uh, somebody come out to present. But other than that, these smaller showcases, like these direct type of things, this is the format. Stay on track. This is exactly what it is. I'm going to give the show an 8 out of 10 because there was games that I did like that was there. Uh, really uh, much so. They they really didn't have too many lows in the show. It was really pretty much, you know, highs all the way through. And the games that they did pick was games that was very interesting to me. 
Now, maybe not to a lot of other people, but to me, these games are interesting. Me personally, I'm more interested in what's launching inside Game Pass and what's going to save me my money. You know, that type of thing. But um, this is the part in the video where I'm going to tell you to, you know, like, follow, and subscribe. And I'm going to throw that logo over there. And I'm going to tell you, try to play the Game Pass.